Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for the CVEN platform tour. I'm Chris Kearney. I'm going to be your host today. A bit of housekeeping details before we dive in. Everyone's on mute to minimize background noise. For those of you that have questions or comments throughout the presentation, please feel free to put them in the chat as well as the Q&A. At the end, I'll be sticking around to answer questions in a live Q&A format. Um, so please feel free to stick around. Love to, to get those questions as we go. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been with CVent now a little more than 11 years. Uh, my events career actually started when I was a little kid. My mom is a treasured, a, a nonprofit for about 13 years. And as a little kid, I was always there helping to set up, tear down, lick envelopes to send out those invites. So it was something I grew up around. I actually then went to study hospitality management in college and then worked in the hospitality industry for a few years before some friends uh, lured me over to CVent. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and dive in? Uh, a lot to cover in a short period of time. And I know everyone's very busy. Um, for those that aren't super familiar with CVent, maybe this is your first time learning about us. We've actually been around since 1999. Our CEO, Reggie Agarwal, was a lawyer by day. At night, he was involved in a professional networking organization that was doing all their events on Excel spreadsheets and sticky notes. So he had a friend help him with uh, creating online registration for some of these events, and that then blossomed into what would become CVent. Uh, nowadays, we're a little more than 4,000 employees worldwide with tens of thousands of tens of thousands of customers all over the globe. And um, in the 20 plus years we've been in business, we've worked on millions of events. In terms of kind of what we're going to be thinking about today, I, I, I always like to start with kind of where do we stand? And I think we're in an interesting kind of pivotal moment in the events industry. Um, right now, events programs and the events that we're running could be in person, could be virtual or somewhere in between. We're also seeing that attendees are willing to engage with us earlier in the life cycle of an event. And bigger part of their event experience has actually become digital. Um, this then dovetails nicely into the kind of duration of the event is longer. Even if you only host a three-person conference, you might have a couple of weeks of pre-event access where they can build an agenda, start networking with attendees. And then after the event, maybe watch on-demand content. So this rise of digitization in events has really created an opportunity for event planners to gather more data points and access uh, a bunch of information that was maybe not available three, four or five years ago. This has created some challenges, though, as anyone knows, it's been in events for the past couple of years. Uh, what we used to do three, four or five years ago as an event manager has now changed pretty dramatically. Now you have to be a health and safety expert. You have to be juggling budgets ever more than we have. Um, you have to understand video production and in many ways become a TV producer and a TV broadcaster, all expanding your tech stack. So it's something that, you know, we're juggling more balls than I think we ever have as event managers and event organizers. So it's becoming, you know, even more complex. I love this slide. I think it's such a funny way to think about it because I think every time I talk to someone say, hey, I'm in the events industry, and whether it's you know family or friends or you know coworkers that maybe aren't involved in day-to-day -day running of events, they all have kind of a different perspective on what that means. But as we all know, it's an incredibly stressful job, consistently ranked as one of the most stressful jobs. We always see surveys come out every year, and typically, event planner breaks the top five as one of the most stressful careers that you could have. So little bit of fun here um, where, you know, <laughs> when we tell our family, I'm an event planner, they think we just go to parties all the time. The other area that I always like to think about are what are attendees' expectations uh, going into events? I think right now they expect personalization, right? And everything that they're doing online, it's always very personalized to them. So when I log into my bank, it's a welcome message. It's all sorts of other things to kind of make it curated for Chris. I think they expect if they're gonna be getting on a plane and traveling to an in-person event, it needs to be incredibly meaningful. People have really changed their perspective. No longer do they wanna be on the road every single day or every week. Uh, it's gonna be something that's more of a treat and it has to be impactful. If they are participating virtually or watching on-demand content, it needs to be broadcast quality that you would see on Netflix or HBO Max and compete with Game of Thrones for level of of production here. So that's something that's put some additional stress on planners. 
And I think more than ever, we're looking for a sense of connection when we go to an event. We want to engage with our peers, network with colleagues, and really, once again, make sure it's a good use of our time and an impactful experience that we'll remember forever and ever. So as we start to think about all this, you know, really where does CVent come in? And now I'm actually going to tee up a, a nice little two-minute video that I think is a good introduction to a lot of the content we're going to cover today. It's actually a, a tour of the CVent platform. So with that, I'll turn it over and we'll run this video. I think that's a great video in two minutes you know it shows you a lot of different things and, and we're going to go a little bit deeper now so one thing that we like to talk about here at CVEN is kind of all those different point solutions that planners are forced to often use and um, we would call this you know something like a franken stack right you're piecing together 10 systems to ultimately try and run your event and for many of us this creates a lot of friction day to day in the process but also really impacts that guest experience for our attendees so Seven's really going to help you consolidate everything under one roof, giving you resources and tools to help with pre-event planning and logistics, marketing and promoting the event, taking those registrations, delivering a great day of in-person or online experience, as well as post-event analytics and feedback. So really, that's where Seven kind of brings it all together um, and is more than just one system here. So now we're going to get into each little part that I've mentioned and starting out with kind of some of the pre-event logistics. So some of you have a meeting policy and a meeting program that you need to adhere to. So you need to submit meetings for requests, budget requests, approval forms. CVIN can help with that. So we have a meetings management solution that really not only helps with capturing meeting information, but routing it for approval, uh, creating internal calendars and resources for those that have to go through a centralized process. All of this can live in something called an access portal. So it's an online portal for an organization, not only to access the meeting and event policy, uh, download materials, see calendars, submit those requests, but also run reports, uh, see appointments, travel policies, all sorts of great stuff. So it really becomes that one-stop shop for event organizers and people that would like to run an event. So now that we have our meeting approved and secured, we need to go find event space. The CVent Supplier Network is the world's largest venue database with over 280,000 venues. Think about this as Google, but designed for event planners. So you can go in and search for event space based on specific criteria that's relevant to you. And the part that I think is not only valuable here is the database, but also the ability to communicate very efficiently with the venues. 
So you can create one request for proposal, send it to the venues you're interested in. It's tied into all their back office systems. So they bid back giving you rates and availability. This is a huge time saver, especially now as hotels are still struggling to come back uh, up to pre-pandemic staffing levels. So this really is going to give you a competitive advantage to find that perfect venue. On top of that, there's exclusive rates. So you're probably going to get a better rate on some of these venues as well. So tremendous resource. Another area that goes kind of hand in hand with this is the room diagramming. Uh, it used to be called social tables. Now it's C-Vent diagramming. It allows you to create a floor plan, uh, seating assignments, and then really bring that to life. So you can share with colleagues and other types of stakeholders that need to weigh in on this. It also allows you to collaborate with the venue. And for some of you, you're actually familiar with this because the venue provides it. So it allows you to do really nice kind of visualizations of what your space will look like well before you even do that design. So now that we've secured the venue, we need to start thinking about promoting this event. So CVent gives you a lot of tools to send out email invitations, but also promote through all the different channels that are important to you as an event organizer. So giving you a lot of power to get the word out on the street. And ultimately through all these different channels, we're trying to drive someone to that registration form uh, where they're able to say yes. But this doesn't always happen. Sometimes people start to register and then you know bounce off for some reason. Not only can we track that, but we can help put in a re-engagement strategy to get those people back to a yes. On the other side of the aisle, you have the no's. And historically, a no would just be someone not responding or unsubscribing. But with CVent, they could say thanks, but no thanks. Not only are they taken out of those future invitations for an event that they're not interested in, but it also allows you to gather some information. So why are they saying no? And we do this through something called a regret survey. And in that middle, you can actually have a tiered campaign going out over time to those undecided individuals. And each time you send out that invite, it's going to see spikes in registration. So it's a great way to continue prodding those people along that are maybe on the fence and do it in an efficient, scalable manner. So now the days come to have a good registration experience, right? So for these attendees, it's all about personalization. So how do we show them the things that are relevant to their experience at this event? It could be seeing different pages based on them being a client versus a prospect or a sponsor or an exhibitor or a speaker, having different registration experiences that have the appropriate pricing, the appropriate questions and sessions and so on and so forth. And also pre-populating information we already have on file. So we know Chris Kearney works at Cvent, he's in the sales team. So let's populate that information for him to really make sure it's a great guest experience. It's not just registration where we need that uh, curation and personalization. It can carry over into the agenda building saying, hey, Chris, based on what we know about you and your title, these are maybe some sessions that we would recommend. So giving attendees not only the ability to build their agenda, but maybe offering some AI driven suggestions to make sure that they can personalize that experience and really make sure it's a great use of their time. Now the day of is happening. We need to check people in get them a name tag and track session attendance. This is where Cvent's on arrival solution comes into play. It's a check-in application. It can track session attendance as well as print badges on site. It also helps with things like signature collection for uh, continuing education credits, as well as real-time analytics on who's going where. And this can be done either through scanning or passive tracking through something called RFID or tap and go with NFC. So a variety of different solutions here to deliver a really white glove, amazing first impression when someone walks through the door at your event, because that's what this really is. The check-in desk is their first impression of your event when they walk through those doors. And as far as the badging goes, a bunch of different options are available. You could pre-print your own badges, but many customers are now turning towards a curated, personalized on-site badging experience where I can change my name from Christopher to Chris, maybe make sure my title's correct, uh, and answer a couple other questions at the point of check-in that ultimately impact some things that are gonna show up on my badge. This can be paper, it can be PVC, single-sided, double-sided, a lot of different options. So now that they have their credentials, they're through the door, they're gonna be checking their mobile app to understand where they need to be at what time. So think about this as a digital guide to the event. And this is called the Attendee Hub Event App. So it's gonna carry over all that information from registration 
and allow the attendees to do a long list of things during the event, receive notifications, see where things are taking place on interactive maps, post content and connect with individuals in an activity feed. And the app is something and the attendee hub is really going to be, you know, the whole life cycle of the event. Pre-event, people can log in, access their agenda, start building their sessions in terms of what they want to participate in, start networking with attendees. During the event, a long list of features and really kind of where people spend their time when they uh, need to be in the know. And then after the event, they can fill out surveys, continue networking, posting content, sharing ideas, as well as watching on-demand sessions. And your team is going to be able to measure this every step of the way seeing an engagement score for the attendees as they're participating. For those of you that need some virtual solutions, whether it be for webinars or large scale virtual and hybrid conferences, you have access to not only the attendee hub web version with all the great interactive tools that you guys are experiencing today. So we're using attendee hub for this presentation, but we're also using something called Cvent Studio. This is our broadcast quality production suite. It really allows you to do things like on-demand video, um, switching between live and pre-recorded, different layouts and landscapes and backgrounds and all sorts of different configurations to really make sure that this feels like a professional polished session or series of sessions that are tied to an event. So something that includes is included when you're using some of our virtual tools for those events. So one group that we haven't talked a ton about today is exhibitors and sponsors. For some of you, they're a critical part of your success. You need to you know, bring them into your event, make sure that they're a core part of the agenda, whether it be sponsored sessions, exhibitor booths, uh, networking time. There's a long list of ways that we can get this group involved. At the basic level, it's being able to give them a nice interactive booth, whether it be online or in the mobile app where people can access content, engage with the booth staff, but on the other side, we also have tools to help you get what you need from these groups. So CVent's exhibitor management portal allows you to create to-do lists, share information, allows the exhibitor manager on the other side to register their booth staff, download and access lead capture, see other materials that are relevant to them. They can also manage appointments. And then when the event is starting to come to a close, they can run reports to get real-time data and download all of their leads from lead capture and other sources. So really a fantastic self-service tool to make sure your sponsors and exhibitors get all of that ROI that they're looking for. So, so far we've been looking mainly at features for attendees and stakeholders that are participating in the event. Now let's focus on the other side for you, the event planner. So when you go to build your event, because this is a scalable solution, you have a variety of different features you can turn on and turn off as you need them. So if you're running a webinar versus a conference, you're going to need totally different sets of tools. So it's very simple to turn on and turn off what you need. You can build an event straight from scratch, starting from ground zero, or you could leverage templates or event copying if you're going to be doing a lot of the same things again and again. This creates a ton of operational efficiency for you, the event organizer. In terms of design and configuration, we have a great drag and drop designer, and it's going to be consistent across the entire platform. So this goes for building web pages, emails, surveys, really everything you're designing in Cvent is going to have a consistent user experience for you. And you're going to be able to copy things like color schemes and layouts from place to place. So you don't have to start from scratch every single time when you're creating something new. So once again, a lot of operational efficiency. And for those of you that have peers that can build things with CSS and HTML coding, we can empower them to do what they do best. So this drag and drop editor is not only that, but it also has some advanced design tools as well. So now that our event is done and we need to understand you know, our return on investment, we need to be able to look at some robust reports that cover a long list of different things. So, the reports can be measured in real time for things like attendance tracking or other things that matter during the event, but you also have reports that can measure satisfaction afterwards. So in this case, we're going to be looking at surveys. So CVent has a robust survey solution baked right in. Attendees can respond via email, click in, answer it right on their computer, or they could do it from the mobile app. One of the things that I really like about our survey solution that I think creates a good experience for the attendee 
it's only based on what they're participating in. So if I just went to an event that had 50 sessions, I don't have to answer all 50 session surveys, maybe just the 10 that I participated in. I think the other thing that I like about this as well is it's easy to share information with our stakeholders. Rarely do I talk to an event planner who says, yeah, I don't have to share this with anyone else. Often they're downloading an Excel spreadsheet, trying to send it off to their boss as quickly as possible. The boss maybe doesn't look at it for a couple of days, and then they're trying to make some business decisions based on data that's a couple you know, days or hours old. So it's really easy to share information in real time so the business can make much better decisions going forward as we think about analytics and looking at events and their impact. Because event isn't the sole source of truth for events and event data, often companies are using a CRM, marketing automation, maybe travel tools, all sorts of different things. We have a long list of integrations via our app marketplace. So this is something that many of our clients are leveraging to make sure Cvent is getting the right information from key places, as well as sending important data to other business tools that are being used by sales, marketing, and operations, other types of departments. And when we think about reporting, it's not just individual events. We can help with cross-event analytics as well. So what I'm thinking about here is, hey, maybe the last six months we did a field marketing event series. What was the impact of those events? You know, what type of attendance did we see? Uh, what type of surveys were we getting? What were the engagement scores during these events? So CVAP has a robust cross-event Mark, excuse me, reporting tool um, that allows you to really analyze events on the macro level as well as that individual micro level when needed. One of the core values here at Cvent is being customer centric. And this is something that we're always thinking about is how can we be a good long-term partner and stay current with the times, but also provide all the resources necessary for you to be successful today. And this is where our award-winning customer support team comes into play. So they're available 24 by seven, and we have product experts that can help you all different types of ways. It could be in a chat, it could be a phone call, you can log a case, we can schedule a call to go in detail and bring in a product expert. So a long list of ways to get the support you need in any type of situation. We also believe in developing a lot of resources for our customers in our Cvent community. Though this could be a personalized training plan. So when you first start using Cvent to make sure you're taking the right training in the right order, being able to empower our customers to go in and search for content, articles, log cases, do a bunch of different things that are gonna make your life easier day in and day out, but also foster the ability for knowledge sharing. So a customer forum, customer events, other things like that, that are really gonna be a huge benefit for you being a Cvent customer. For some of you, we're still seeing struggles to get back to pre-pandemic staffing levels. So this is where Cvent's professional services team could come in. We can do things like event configuration, um, implementation services, day of and on-site support, as well as Cvent consulting. This is an arm of our business that works with our customers to make sure that they're getting the most out of their investment and aligning the right Cvent tools and strategies to specific events that are part of their total events program. So a long list of resources available if you're feeling the pinch and are short staffed. For many of you, security has become top of mind. It's something that we're talking about uh, on a regular basis with our customers. They wanna make sure that we're adhering to the most up-to-date security protocols, as well as thinking about data privacy, because this is becoming top of mind for many consumers and people that participate in events. And this is an area where Cvent invests heavily. Uh, we invest a tremendous amount, not only in the security infrastructure and process, but how we support our customers to make sure that their events are bulletproof, whether it be GDPR compliance, CCPA, or just standard security protocols. Something that Cvent takes very seriously and works with our customers on every single day. And when you become a Cvent customer, it's not just the technology, you become part of this infrastructure and this whole set of resources uh, related to you know, leveling up your events. Uh, this could be by attending Cvent Connect, our other customer success groups, webinars, um, other types of groups that we have to really further the industry and offer event planners resources beyond the technology. So this is something that's really important to us because we very much so practice what we preach. 
We're running, you know, multiple very large conferences every single year, as well as hundreds of smaller to mid-size events. So we want to learn from our clients just as much as they want to learn from us. And so you become part of this CVent community. So everyone, this is my last slide before I kind of transition to kind of what the next steps look like from here. And I think this slide you know, tries to really encompass a lot of what we talked about today. For our customers, they want you know, one system for all of their events, no matter what the format is. Is it virtual, in-person, uh, hybrid, or something else? And then also we need to think about you know, what's the size. Is it a tier one, tier two, or tier three event? Or is it external? Is it internal? So Cvents really tried to think through all of these different scenarios and all these different lenses and be able to provide solutions for all these different events. So for us to be really kind of one strategic resource for our customers. And in summary, Cvent doesn't have to be, uh, you know, running a thousand events for you to be, you know, using our technology. We have plenty of customers who do one, two, three events a year. So if you fall into that bucket, don't necessarily take that as, hey, I don't do a thousand events. Can I use Cvent? The answer is most certainly yes. We have many customers that do just a handful of events a year. So everyone, thank you for the time today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully it was insightful. You learned a few things. And as I mentioned at the top of the hour, this was designed to be an introduction to who CVEN is and what we do. If you want to learn more, please put in, the, in your survey or in the chat or in the Q&A. Happy to have someone reach out, talk about your specific event needs and where CVEN will fit in. I'm going to stick around and answer some questions. I see a few there in the Q&A section as well as the chat. But for those of you that have to leave, really appreciate your time. So once again, thank you, everyone. Really appreciate your time. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Hi, everyone. My name is Brianna, and I am a Cvent account manager for our enterprise clients here. I'm going to be taking over for Chris at this point and helping out with today's live Q&A. I do see questions coming in here now, but before I get to that, I wanted to mention that we are running a promotion today. If you would like to earn a $100 gift card, you can just sign up to complete a demo with us. We'll be popping that link into the chat here. And if you're joining us today from outside the US, you can convert that gift card into any other currency. Uh, so just go ahead and find that link in the chat and schedule a demo to claim that prize. So with that, um, I'll move on to some of the questions here. Um, so the first question I see coming in is how can I access the free venue directory? You can actually just go to cvent.com slash venues and you'll be able to find it there. Again, we have over 300,000 venues listed on our supplier network and you can sign up for a free account today and start sourcing. The next question here is, does Cvent connect to constant contact for marketing events? Um, so we do have an a open API here at Cvent. So essentially, we can connect to any system uh, that you have in place. We don't have an out-of-the-box integration with constant contact, but we definitely have customers who are using our open API, and we can do any type of custom integrations uh, to make sure we're integrated with the marketing uh, tech stack that you already have in place. You can just reach out to any of our representatives here and they can get you more information on, on kind of the cost and process for that. All right, um, so you might have mentioned this, but is it possible for different attendee types to have different experiences during the registration process, i.e. sponsors have a unique path versus general attendees? Absolutely. You can definitely have custom registration paths for all of your different attendee types. So for our own Cvent Connect, we have different paths for attendees, our staff, our speakers, our exhibitors, our sponsors, and you can customize you know, what options they see related to things like hotel and travel, do they have to pay versus do they not have to pay? Certain sessions might only be available to certain audiences. You can definitely customize that for your registration experience. 
All right, can CVENT provide on-site day of support for check-in and badging if needed? Absolutely. Uh, we have a wide variety of check-in and badging solutions here, and we do offer the option to have someone from CVENT come on-site and actually be that dedicated uh, day of support as needed. We can come down on-site in person. We have options to set that up virtually, but we can definitely support that day of your event to make sure you have a very smooth check-in process. Is there any plan to have a dark mode display in the admin part of CVENT? Um, I can check on this in the product roadmap. I know that they were first prioritizing making dark mode available for the check-in screens, which are more attendee facing, but I will follow up. Um, if you wanna follow up with your CVENT representative, they can check our product roadmap to see if we're also looking to implement that on the admin level. Next question was, how can CVEN help to deal with scammers preying on event exhibitors? Um, I would honestly need a little more information to understand the exact scenario here, but we do have a wide variety of trade show solutions, including our newest acquisitions with iCapture and Jiffle Now. If you want to reach out to your CVENT representative, uh, you can definitely discuss this in more detail, and we'd be happy to see how we can help. All right, um, can webinars or virtual meetings integrate with social media to simultaneously stream? Um, you do have an embeddable link from our uh, webinar or virtual platform. They wouldn't necessarily be displaying on your social media, but you can integrate your social media on the webinar or attendee hub sites. Um, so it'd kind of be the other way around. You could promote your socials from your virtual streaming platform. But we do integrate with tools like Zoom and WebEx. So if you're using those to actually stream somewhere like on a Facebook or YouTube, you can also embed that in the attendee hub so you can still track registrations for that event. And then I see, can I use CVENT for collecting leads during an in-person event? Absolutely. Um, we do, as I mentioned, have a couple of different trade show solutions, including CVENT's own lead capture tool, as well as our newest acquisition with iCapture, which is also a lead capturing solution. So you can definitely uh, click that link in the chat for a demo, and we'd be happy to show you our different options for how to manage leads at any in-person event. And then the last question I see here, can CVENT manage separate fundraising needs for a nonprofit? Um, so we can help with collecting fees around events. We can help collect uh, fees for attendees signing up. We can help with managing sponsor and exhibitor fees. And we do have a budget module built within the tool that can help you track all of those collections, help you break it out um, by different revenue streams from the event. So definitely would recommend, again, filling out that link for a demo, and we can walk through the budget module and talk about how that fits your needs. And one more I see coming in. Is there any live help with certifications? Um, absolutely. If you are a current CVENT customer and you are looking to go through one of our CVENT certifications, you can work with our client success team and they have tons of resources available to help you prepare for that. We have uh, how-to guides uh, and user guides available as well as actual on-demand training videos. Um, so they're happy to point you in the direction of any of those resources. Just reach out to your CVEN account team. If you're not familiar with who your client success advisor is, you can also find that listed in the CVEN community and they can definitely help you prepare. All right, it looks like that is all the questions I have so far, but feel free to throw any more in that you might still have, and I'm happy to stick around for another few moments.
All right. If that is it for today, then again, recommend uh, you checking out that chat for any of those links. Definitely make sure to get your $100 gift card and follow up with your account team for any other questions. And we're always happy to chat through your event scenarios and see how we can help. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.